Once you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at how we can install Android 8.1 Oreo on VirtualBox. Now VirtualBox is a free piece of software which allows you to install virtual machines onto it and uh, you can install Mac, also uh, Linux, Windows and Android and pretty much any other uh, operating system really. So that's what we're going to do. So you're going to need to get yourself a copy of Android, which I'll leave the link in the video description. And also you'll need to install a VirtualBox, which is free piece of software, which I'll leave the link in the video description. Once you've got all that installed, let's open up our uh, VirtualBox manager and uh, we're going to create a new virtual machine. And the way you do that is just by uh, clicking on the new here. And this is going to allow us to install operating systems now you won't see these other operating systems here these are just the ones i've installed so click on new and uh, you need to give it a name so i'm going to give this a name of uh, say android something like that just type android in there and uh, once you've done that we can now put in uh, linux here and once we've chosen linux we can choose other linux 32-bit that's it and uh, give it a bit of memory and uh, depends on how much memory you want to do but we're on a 32 bit here so just give it a bit of memory I'm going to give it four gigs that'll do and uh, we can now create our virtual machine now size of drive is going to depend on what you want to do here eight gigs is enough really just for testing I'll just just jump bump that up a little bit here and uh, that should be enough and uh, once we're done that we're going to leave this uh, as default here and also dynamically um, it's okay so we're going to click uh, create and that's now created so what we can do now is go into the settings tab and change some of the settings so general uh, you can change the name here I can just add in a name if I want to if I wanted to add in there an 8.1 I can do that just like so and also we can make changes here if we want to but I'm going to leave those as is and then go to system and make some changes here now I'm just going to give this uh, the memory what I've got here give it one more processor uh, so it's got two processors and also make sure everything else is selected there as default give a bit of video memory I'm going to give it 128 and then we can come down to storage and you'll see down here we've got the uh, settings as is now we don't need to touch anything else but all I need to do now is attach uh, the ISO image here to install it. Now this will be the same process to install this on a PC but you just have to create a bootable USB flash drive. If you want to see that let, let me know in the comments section. Okay so now click on this little uh, icon up here and this is going to allow us to select our ISO image and this is just going to be our virtual CD basically. So we're just going to click on this and uh, this will allow us to navigate to that location. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. And we can select our ISO here and click on open. And uh, this is a pretty stable version of Android. So we're going to click OK here. And uh, that's ready to install. OK, so let's move on up to uh, the start button here and highlight the Android 8.1. And this will start the installation process. Now, as you see, it's now booting up here and we can zoom on in here to take a closer look. And you can see we've got a live um, environment here we can boot into or we can just go ahead and install. So we're going to go ahead and install this because that's what we're going to be doing in this video. So we'll just let this uh, start off and now we need to uh, choose a partition, but we don't have one. So we need to create a partition and we can do that by just clicking uh, on the letter C and this will create modify partitions and then we can click OK or enter so let's just push enter now we don't want to create a GPT uh, so I'm going to click no here and now we want to create a new partition so we're going to go ahead and click on a new and this will create a new partition for us make that primary so push enter now we're not going to partition out this uh, drive so we can just use the whole drive so the large number there will be the whole 12 gigabytes which I've given it or 12 and a half gigabytes so push enter and then push enter on bootable to make the drive bootable 
So that's what we want to do next. And once we've done that, we can now go down to where it says right and push enter. And you should see now boot. And if we've now made it right, it wants to ask for permission. So we're going to type yes for yes and then push enter on the keyboard and it will uh, write the partition table to the disk. And uh, we're pretty much good to go here. We're, we're getting somewhere. And once we've completed that task, what we can do is navigate uh, down to the quick key because we've now set all this up. So just navigate using your arrow keys down to quit and push enter. Now we can see our drive for the first time. It's a SDA1 unknown 11.65 gigabytes virtual box uh, hard disk. So we're going to click on enter right while we highlighted that. And now we need to select the file system, which is going to be ext4. So enter that and click OK. Now we need to choose to format the SDA1 to ext4. So what we're going to do here is uh, format this and uh, click on yes. So all the data will be lost, but there's none on there because we've just created it. So that doesn't really matter. So what we're going to do is just push the cursor keys over to the yes button and push enter. That will start to format. Now we want to install our bootloader, which is going to be Grub. So say yes for that. And also we do want to install the uh, system directory as read and write. So we're going to navigate over to the yes side and we can push enter. And that will start to uh, write that to there. So let's uh, let that complete. It will take a bit of time, but it's not going to take too long because it is only 12 uh, gigabytes, the drive. So it shouldn't take too long. So let that uh, do its thing. And uh, now we uh, can either run Android x86, but we don't want to do that. We want to reboot first. So click OK here and push um, reboot. OK, so that's now rebooted, but we've still got the ISO as our booting device. And this is why it's come back to this screen. So what we need to do is uh, dismount uh, the ISO. And that's pretty straightforward. So we can go up to settings here and just highlight on storage. And uh, you can see the ISO there. Just click on that and just remove the disk. And now we should be good to go. So click OK. And now we can start up our Android 8.1 but first off we need to close it down because it was still running now that's closed down we can just click start again and it will start up our virtual machine for the first time as an operating system so let that go ahead and start up we can now click on Android x86 8.1 RC1 and this will start to load up our operating system there you go it's starting to load up we've got the android screen there okay so that's now done so what we need to do is just uh, set up our system so it's going high there and we can now push enter and use the tab keys or the um, arrow keys to navigate to what language you want so i'm going to push enter it will try to connect and uh, we don't want to do that so here we want to just uh, set up uh, as new so I'm just going to navigate down to set up as new and then we are pretty much good to go there so I'll just uh, give that a second it will try to uh, check for the information and uh, now we can sign in but I want to skip this area here so I don't want to put this in just of yet so I'm just going to navigate down to the skip key and then push enter and this will skip this part and again, I'm just going to skip this area here. So we just need to skip down and use the tab key to tab down. Now I can push uh, next here to choose my location and then push next and then put in a name. So I'm just going to put in Brightech and we can now uh, push next. And there's some features here that we can enable and disable depending on what you want to do or if you want to improve uh, location so i'm just going to do this so you can uh, just adjust these to how you like send system data i can remove that if i wish there you go and then install apps and updates that's okay for me 
So all I need to do here is agree this and move on to the next step. And uh, push enter. And you can uh, set up an email account if you wish. I'm going to say no thanks here. We can do this at a later date if you wanted to. So depending on what you want to do, I'm just going to say no thanks. It's just going to add a few finishing touches. Now I'm going to select the launcher free here and use this as always. Push enter. And then we have our operating system. We're booted up and uh, that's what we're going to get. So as you can see here, this is exactly uh, Oreo 8.1 uh, Android. You can set up your uh, Google Play Store if you wish and sign in there and download applications if you want to. That works OK. And also you've got some other settings and stuff you can take a look at in here. Also, you do get some pre-installed apps on here, which I'll show you right now. So you just have to click on this little mark there and it will take you in and you can see you do have some apps already installed on the system there. And of course you can install more apps if you wish, but that is uh, the Android 8.1 Oreo. So you can do all the usual things that you would do on a normal operating system, like uh, go on YouTube using the YouTube app here and this will take you to there. It'll ask you to update if you wish, or you can say not now. And uh, that gives you access to uh, YouTube, as you can see. And you can click on videos and watch those. And also, you've got settings here. And I'll just quickly show you the settings. You can change your network and internet settings. Do all your changes right inside here, the display and everything else. And of course, you've got the system information there. So if you want to look at the system information for this, it will tell you exactly uh, operating system it is you can see updated to android 8.1 and it was a uh, security patch level june 5th 2018 and uh, also you do have internet access on here as well you can set up your email accounts and stuff like that you can do pretty much what you like on it it's just a an operating system so if you just want to go on the internet you can do just let me quickly accept these terms and conditions and uh, sign in no thanks and there you go you just type in what you want and uh, do a search for whatever you like and uh, we'll just do a quick search here for say BBC Sport just to see whether the internet is working okay and you can also use Wi-Fi on here as well there we go that's all working fine anyway that's pretty much it really you can have a play of it yourself and let me know what you think in the comment section below if you've got any video requests let me know in the comments or on the forums or wherever you can uh, post them and i'll do my best to make those videos for you my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching guys bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my youtube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.